We're shooting a commercial today created by Joel Ackerman of Ackermania Creative. They create viral style commercials that are highly entertaining but still focus on selling the product. We're shooting our town in a mummy infested cave with a dirty toilet. We're going to shoot at the old LA Zoo in Los Angeles. It's a very cool place to shoot, a little bit pricey but a great location. We're going to show you how to use two reflectors and double bounce the light to be able to light our talent inside a cave. Here are the obstacles. The openings of the cave are all in the shade and we're lighting with reflectors. There are three openings. The two in the background have reasonable reflector access from the outside, but the one at the mouth of the cave is in a corner and it's very dark. Of course, that's the opening where our talent needs to be. That's the obstacle. We've got to reflect our light around a corner and light her inside the cave. We'll be shooting both video and stills in this setup. Let's look at our camera settings. We're shooting at 200 ISO and 50th of a second shutter speed for our video and wide open at 2.8. I'm on the Tamron 24 to 70 millimeter lens shooting at about 40 millimeters. Here's our image with only the ambient light from outside. We're bouncing ambient light through the cave windows with a 12 foot by 12 foot silk. It will bounce a nice soft ambient light into the cave. I've set my color balance to tungsten to allow the daylight reflecting in the cave to be very blue. It's something I do a lot, I know. We'll use a North Star light as a fill light inside the cave. It's not strong enough to bounce with the ambient light from outside or would use it as the key. We will bounce it into a six foot by six foot Photoflex reflector. That reflector is laying against the side of the cave wall. Here's our image with just that fill light. We added a 39 by 72 inch Photoflex light panel in the background to bounce light through that first opening onto the back wall. Wiggling the light back there will give us the illusion that the light's bouncing off from a pool of water. Here's our image with the reflector on that back wall. For our key light, we're going to use a double reflector technique to get light around the corner and onto our talent. We'll set a reflector out in the sun and use the hard side. That will be reflected into a second reflector standing in the shade, which will be aimed around the corner and onto the talent. Here's our image with the bounce light reflected off the second reflector onto our talent. Let's look at this lighting in a piece of video. Here's some of the still images. Using a double bounce is really not as hard as it looks. Any small reflector is going to work. I always start with a hard reflector that bounces into a softer reflector. This will work with light panels or round reflectors or a combination thereof. Simple technique, but very effective. Keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. This month on the Slanted Lens, we're giving away two portable speed light kits. This is two small octodomes, two stands, two brackets to be able to set up your speed lights, put it in the octodome, and two of the speed rings to be able to set up your octodomes. It comes in this great carrying case, so it all goes together. You can put your speed lights in there and you're ready to go. So we're giving away two of these. Go to theslantedlens.com, make sure you sign up to win a portable speed light kit. We're also selling this portable speed light kit at theslantedlens.com. It'll be at B&H prices and we'll throw in free a digital download of our DVD series called Mastering Strobes. Great information, $79 value. We're going to add it to this kit if you buy it from theslantedlens.com. So make sure you sign up to win. And if you don't win, make sure you purchase it from theslantedlens.com. <laughs>